All right, assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, welcome to our intersectionality series. Um, my name is Ryan and I work at Smile Canada as a service navigator. Um, and basically the series, it's called Exploring Our Intersections and it's a year long Facebook Live series where we discuss the intersectional experiences of persons with disabilities. Um, and what we do is we host uh, disability activists from all walks of life to share their unique intersections and making disability central um, to these conversations. So before we begin, I would like to open up the floor to Dazan to introduce herself and speak a little bit about the Syrian Canadian Foundation. Hi everyone, my name is Razan. I'm a project manager at the Syrian Canadian Foundation, or as we like to call it, SCF. SCF aims to empower newcomers and people of diverse backgrounds while promoting cross-cultural exchanges within Canadian society. Dima and her family, who are going to be speaking today, are a big part of the SCF story. We've had the pleasure of working with them since their arrival to Canada in 2017, and we recently launched a virtual fitness program for Arabic-speaking newcomers with disabilities that Dima and her husband, Osama, designed. If you're interested in learning more about SCF, please visit us at syriancanadianfoundation.ca. We're excited to be here today to listen and to learn from the experiences of Dima around migration and disability. Marhaban, ana ismi Razan, ma Syrian Canadian Foundation, awin muassas al Canadia Suriya. Um, هدف SCF احنا بنشتغل مع الاشخاص اللاجئين والمهاجرين وبنعمل برامج مثل um دروس عربي اسف دروس انجليزيه um, وكمان في عندنا حصص um, للنساء بتركز على الصحه النفسيه وكمان عندنا برامج للشباب والاطفال حول التصوير والفن um, احنا قصتنا كثير م... اسف ديما هي جزء كبير من قصتنا احنا التقينا مع 2017 لما وصلت على كندا واحنا كثير عندنا ذكر ذكريات كثير حلوه مع ديما وهلا قاعد بنعمل برنامج لياقه بدنيه للاشخاص اللي عندهم احتياجات خاصه ام اللي عندهم اعاقه واحنا كثير متحمسين مشان نبلش هذا البرنامج ومتحمسين اليوم مشان نشوف ديما ونسمع منها عن تجربتها مع الهجره ومع الديسابيلتي شكرا uh, thanks, Razan, for joining us and explaining a little bit more about what the Syrian Canadian Foundation is. Um, so we also have Abir with us today. Um, and Abir is a speech uh, pathologist assistant, and she works very closely with SMILE uh, as part of our healthcare advisory team. So she works closely with SMILE families and children in addressing concerns related to uh, speech and language development. And she's participated in a lot of programs uh, with SMILE, such as parent coaching and a lot more. So welcome, Abir, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. No problem. Um, so today in this session, we're hosting Smile Mom and Para Athlete Dima al uh, who migrated from Syria in 2018. Um, and she's here today to speak about her experiences as a Syrian woman with a disability and her migration to Canada. So, Ahlan Viki Dima. Assalamu alaikum, shukran kteer la asidafti. Vratazi kteer wiftakhar bi Smile, li hi al munazami li bishtagal. اللي بتقدم خدمات كثيرة للأطفال اللي عندهم إعاقة والخدمات اللي استفادة منهم ابني أهلا وسهلا فيك ديما شكرا لوجودك معنا اليوم حابين نتعرف عليك أكثر ونعرض إنجازاتك المميزة ممكن تعرفينا عن حالك وعن مجال عملك وإيش هو الإشي اللي شجعك على الخوض بهذا المجال أنا ديما الدهوك سوري yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Dima, for joining us tonight. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. So who you are, what you do, and what motivated you to get into the work that you do. I am Dima Dahouk from Syria. I am a Syrian and a Syrian in the world. I have been able to get Arabic and Syrian in the world. So um, I am Dima Dahouk from Syria, and I am a Syrian and international sports champion in table tennis. أنا بطلت سوريا لمدة عشر سنوات متتالية حاصلة على بط... ميدالية برونزية بطولة عمان الدولية المفتوحة بميدالية ذهبية ببطولة ودية بلبنان بال2008 حاصلة على بطولة كندا بال2017 ذهبية بال... بالزوجة وفضية بالفردة بال2018 حصلت على بطولة كندا مركز ثاني بال فضية بالفرد وفضية بالزوجة 
بال 2019 كمان حصلت على ميدالية فضية بكأس أونتاريو. So I have been a Syrian champion for 10 years and I won a bronze at the Amman International Open in 2012 and a gold medal in 2008 at the friendly uh, tournament in Lebanon. In 2017, I won a gold and silver medal. In 2018, I won uh, two silver medals and in 2019, I won the Ontario Cup, the Ontario Silver Cup. طبعا بفترة اللي كنت انا بالاساس كان حب حبي للرياضة من صغري بس للاسف كان في تنمر او في تمييز للاشخاص اللي عندهم اعاقة انه ما فيكم تلعبوا رياضة ما بتقدروا تمارسوا الرياضة مثل مثل الناس الطبيعيين فهذا كان كثير حاجز امامي كنت انا بشتغل كنت اشتغل بمؤسسه تابعه لوزاره الصناعه بسوريا وبنفس الوقت بال 2005 وجدت اللي باب الامل لي اللي هو النادي الرياضي وبديت بلعب الرياضه. So I have had a love for sports from my childhood but I was prevented from practicing sports because of my disability and people told me I can't play sports and that sports are for uh, young people, but I didn't abandon my love for sports until the opportunity came uh, where I was invited to the sports club for the, for the disabled. Um, from here, I was given a new start and my life changed. MashaAllah alaik Dima. Dima, can you share with us some of the experiences of a Muslim Arab Muslim from the special needs of the country? طبعا تجارب كثيرة في تجارب فيها كانت صعبة في تجارب كانت جيدة بس بشكل عام البنت اللي عندها إعاقة بتمر بصعوبات كثير كبيرة خاصة بمجتمعاتنا العربية. So as a result of the difficult stages that I went through and the negative words that I heard um, after a great internal struggle. Um, طبعا انا سمعت كلام كثير محبط صار في كثير صراع داخلي جواتي انه يا بكمل يا لا فقررت اني انا ما استسلم واثبت للمجتمع بانه كل شيء حكوا عن موضوع المراه والبنت اللي عندها اعاقه انه هي ما بتقدر تكمل حياتها لا هي بتقدر تكمل حياتها so I decided that I'll give, um, that I won't give in to the words, the negative words that people said, and that I'm going to prove to everyone and to society that I can be what I want to be, and that I'm able to fulfill my dreams, and that girls with disabilities have the right to life, and that no one can rob them of that. طبعا انا خلصت الثانويه العامه وبديت انه بدي اكمل دراستي ف ما قدرت اكمل دراستي نتيجه اسباب مثل التدخل العائلي بهالوقت هذا كان لازم اني اختار اني اكون انا قادره اني اعتمد على نفسي فالحمد لله توظفت قدرت اثبت نفسي انه قدرت اتخلى عن تقريبا يعني يكون عندي استقلال ذاتي ولعبت رياضة وصرت بطلة على مستوى سوريا هذا عطاني قوة أكبر دفعني للأمام أكثر. So I completed my high school education and after I completed my high school education I was unable to pursue um, school after that due to family reasons. Um, so I decided to work so that I could be financially independent and just overall independent. And alhamdulillah I was hired and I passed my first test and I started to work. Um, and I started practicing sports and succeeded and became a sports champion. طبعاً في الفترة تعرفت على لزوجي وتزوجت واللي هو كان كتير يعني دعمني كتير بحياتي فبهاللحظة هاي إنه أنا قدرت واجه في المجتمع أقدر أقول للمجتمع إنه أنا ممكن أتزوج كون أسرة تركت بصمي تقريباً بكل مكان كانت كنت فيه موجودة. So uh, I got, I, through this process, I got to know my husband, who is my greatest supporter in life, and we got married. Um, and it was a great shock because a lot of people said that I, I wouldn't be able to marry. And um, I was able to, you know, um, you know create footprints uh, in this new path. 
ديما كسيدة عربية مسلمة ما هي التحديات الاجتماعية اللي واجهتك بخذ هذه التجربة المميزة خلال الهجرة من سوريا لكندا وبعد استقرارك فيها؟ طبعا هي رحلة الهجرة بشكل عام هي صعبة كانت كتير وخاصة مع وضع صحي وإعاقة مررنا بظروف كتير قاسية طبعا بالحرب في مثل ما بيعرف الكل أنه بيئة غير مجهزة للأشخاص اللي عندهم إعاقة So the migration journey was very difficult, um, especially when you have a health condition and a disability. Um, so we went through some very harsh conditions during the war in Syria and an environment that was not equipped for people with disabilities. طبعا نتيجة للحرب اضطرينا ان احنا انه نكون تحت ضغط ب ب تكون تحت ضغط بانه انا املى طفل عنده اعاقه بنفس الوقت ظروف المعيشه ظروف الدخل كان كانت كثير هي مؤثر علينا وخلتنا انه نفكر نترك بلدنا. So um, the situation was very uh, difficult and harsh especially being a mother who had a child with special needs um, and it was just uh, difficult to find a secure life and be able to uh, care for my family. So we decided to leave. طلعنا على طلعنا على تركيا كنا عم ندور على حياة أفضل ولكن كان في معاناة بأنه نحن رحنا على مكان مجهول البيت اللي أخذته كان غير مجهز أنا بيحتاج أطلع درج وأنزل درج لأوصل للبيت غير أنه مثلا ما قدرت لاقي فرصة عمل الدخل ما كان موجود So we decided to go to Turkey um, and over there we continued to struggle. Um, it was hard for us to find income and to find secure work and to provide for the daily necessities of life. Um, and on top of that, we, stayed, we were renting a house that wasn't equipped for um, individuals with disabilities. It had, there, we had to climb steps in order to get into the house. الموقف اللي ما ممكن انساه بكل حياتي هي انا وقت اللي كنت بتركيا انا وزوجي انكسر الجهاز اللي بيلبسه زوجي برجله وانا انكسرت كرسيه فضلينا ست شهور بالبيت بدون اي وسيله وسيله مساعده كوضع اعاقه كنت انا وزوجي نزحف على الارض لنقدر نامن احتياجات اطفالنا ونقوم باعمال البيت So uh, one situation that I can't forget is when my husband's uh, device that he wears on his leg to help him walk uh, was broken and my chair was also broken. So we sat in our house for six months um, without any of our adaptive devices and with two children. So we had to crawl around the house to get housework done or to care for our children. بعد هذا الحمد لله قدرنا نحصل على كرسيتين من متبرع كرسي إلي وكرسي لجوزي بهالوقت هذا نحن قررنا انه نشتغل بالعمل التطوعي واللي هو تقديم دعم نفسي للاعاقات الحديثه اللي صارت بالحرب So thankfully two people decided to donate um, a chair for me one for me and one for my husband Um, and after that opportunity came, we decided to volunteer and work in providing psychological support for modern disabilities that occurred due to the war. Uh, عائق كبير كمان الحمد لله تأمن عن طريق الحكومة الكندية. So we came to Canada to start a new life, um, and with that came new challenges. Thankfully, uh, we have our, we have we got disability needs and monthly income that we secured from the government. Uh, بس لسه في معاناة موضوع ال- ال- البيت اللي غير مجهز للأشخاص اللي عندهم إعاقة uh, هذا بيخلي إنه حياتي اليومية بشكل عام كتير صعبة uh, ما بقدر ما عم بقدر أكمل uh, uh, حياتي بسهولة داخل بيتي uh, بنفس الوقت أنا كرياضية بحتاج لدعم إني يكون دعم إني أقدر شارك بالبطولات uh, يكون في عندي الرسوم للاشتراك بالبطولة التجهيزات البطولة فهي صعوبات عم تواجهني 
So uh, we do still struggle. And one of the things that we struggle with is um, the lack of uh, our home is not equipped for persons with disabilities, um, which makes it a little bit more difficult to facilitate like daily living and, and caring for my children and my home. Um, another thing is in order to participate in championships and sports, we need a funding for, you know, for practice and, um, you know, just to be able to participate in these different um, championships. ديما من خلال تجربتك الخاصة ممكن تشاركينا بعض المواقف الصعبة اللي واجهتك واستطعتي انك انت تتغلبي عليها المواقف كتير يعني بس الموقف اللي ما بنساه هو اول تسجيلي بالمدرسة بالجريد وان فانا انطردت من المدرسة المدير ما رضي يستقبلني لاني انا عندي اعاقة so I went through many, many difficult situations. And uh, one of the situations that I still remember is when I was in grade one, um, the principal uh, failed to admit me into the school or register me into the school because of my disability. And aside from that, I was also exposed to very like negative and hurtful words, such as, you know, uh, you'll never be able to finish school, you'll never be able to reach your dreams. You'll never be able to get married and you won't be able to have children. Um, and one of the things that was very hurtful that I heard was after I gave birth to my son, Abdul Rahim, um, who has Down syndrome, uh, people would say to us, oh, you know, you know, we feel bad for you. You used to be two people with disabilities, and now you have now there's three of you with a disability. And um, everyone was waiting and they wanted to see what would happen to us due to um, being in a country in a, in a war and also having a disability. Um, so they were all wondering what was going to happen with us. But Alhamdulillah, we succeeded with our life and uh, we have proven to those around us that we are able uh, and that, the disa that disabled um, people can accomplish just as much as anyone else. ديما ما هي التحديات الاجتماعية اللي واجهتك خلال هاي التجربة وخلال الهجرة من سوريا لكندا وبعد استقرارك؟ هلا كتير كتير في في كتير صعوبات واجهت بس يعني كانت الصعوبة الأكبر إنه تجهيزات البيت أنا أفكر كيف بدي شارك ب ببطولات بدون أي دعم يعني في كان كتير حواجز بتمر فيها وخاصة يعني ال الأشخاص اللي عندهم إعاقة بيمروا بهالصعوبات بشكل أكبر والبنت اللي عندها إعاقة بتمر ب ب بظروف لسه أصعب من من أي شخص تاني. Um, so I was very worried about um, you know what was going to happen. You know how am I going to be able to. Um, do my daily, you know, chores or just, you know, going through my daily life. Um, and one thing that I noticed is girls with disabilities are exposed to a lot more bullying um, and exposed to bullying in a very large way. ديما ما هي بعض النقاط المهمة الممكن توجهيها للأشخاص الجدد فيما يتعلق بالنقاش عن الهجرة وتمييز القدرة والاحتياجات الخاصة. طبعا الأهم شيء إنه الإنسان دائما لازم يكون فعال ما يسمع لأي كلام الظروف اللي بيمر فيها الإنسان بتكون صعبة بس لا يستسلم للتح يعني الإنسان لازم ما يستسلم للتحديات اللي بتواجهه لازم دائما يواجهها بكل قوته في دائما جملة أنا كتير بحب إنه لا لا توجد كلمة مستحيل إلا بقاموس الضعفاء 
فهي انه الاعاقه ممكن تمنعك جسديا ممكن بس ما رح يعني ما رح تمنعك من التميز من النجاح من ترك بصمي من انك تلهم انسان انسان غيرك So um, one thing that I like to say is a person should remain active and efficient and should try to avoid listening to, you know, negative speech um, and uh, have faith in yourself and your abilities. And something that I live by and a, a quote that I really love is the word impossible is only in the dictionary of the week. Um, and disabilities can prevent you physically from doing what you want, but never, um, you know, from, success, from preventing you from succeeding. So you just need to push hard and, and try to succeed. <تصفيق> آه شكرا لك ديما لوجودك لو معنا اليوم وشرف لنا انه نستفيد من تجاربك المميزه وقوه ارادتك للوصول لحلمك آه بالوصول للبطولات العالميه واجتياز جميع الصعوبات اللي بتواجهك. Thank you Dima for joining us today. It was our pleasure to benefit from your experiences and your determination and to reach your dreams, the world championships and overcoming all the obstacles you face. So we do have some um, comments in the Facebook Live. Uh, a lot of loving comments. Uh, everyone's very excited about this. Um, let me read them. Okay. Uh, so Hanin says, Dima, you are so inspiring. Um, Bayan says, your story. It's always so inspirational to me, Dima. Sawson said, God bless you and will be with you in all of your situations. Mirvet says, your word is right. God bless you. Abir says, you are a champion, Dima. God bless you and will be with you. And just so many very loving um, things that people are saying. We have a one question. Someone's asking Dima, Uh, can Dima tell us a little bit about her program she's running with the Syrian Foundation? Okay. The program is for the upcoming generation in the Arabic language for the people who have a body of body. This program is the husband of the family. I will be the support for him. He will give you to every person who has a body تمارين رياضية خاصة بوضع الإعاقة تبعه يعني كل نحن مثل ما معروف كل إعاقة بتختلف فالبرنامج هذا بيقدم لكل شخص عنده إعاقة البرنامج اللي بيناسبه وبنفس الوقت البرنامج بيقدم معدات رياضية ليضل الشخص اللي عنده إعاقة محافظ على نشاطه داخل بيته Okay, so this program with the Syrian Canadian Foundation, it's a new program and my husband is the one who's, um, you know, coaching and he's in charge and I'm helping him. Um, and basically what it is, is we're offering exercises for people with disabilities that are very specific to their disabilities. And as we know, disabilities range from, uh, uh, have a very wide range. So everybody gets a very specific, um, you know, physical program and we give them exercises that are very specific to them so that um, they can remain healthy and active. So everyone's very excited to hear from you, Dima. Um, and everyone's loving your life so far. Because I'm, feel, I'm feeling very happy. <laughs> Just let me. All right, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, we hope you enjoyed the live and that you benefited from whatever Dima said. And um, we appreciate um, your viewing. Thank you, Abir, and thank you, Anissa. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you, Dima. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.